What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I got a story here you got to see to believe. And it just aired about three hours ago on the local news. The story is about this man right here, 21-year-old Jarrell Wheeler of Houston, Texas. This man right here has to be the dumbest law enforcement officer I've seen in the past month. What this man did was leave his job down at uh, working for Harris County Correctional System, leave work early to go and commit a crime. And when I play this video and you see how stupid this man is and his accomplice, his accomplices, this is something for the books. Check this out. Tonight, a Harris County detention officer is now in jail as an inmate charged with capital murder. Gerald Wheeler was arrested yesterday afternoon and to the transport in jail, his cell there was a short one. ABC 13 reporter Jessica Wheeler live with the response from the sheriff's office. Jessica. Yeah, Eric Durrell Wheeler was arrested here at work yesterday afternoon and then taken to be booked into jail just across the street. Court documents show that he left work early the day Houston police say he and three others plan to rob a pimp for cash. We're going to do uh, Wheeler. We're going to do Jarrell Wheeler. Not present. Jarrell Wheeler waived his right to an appearance in probable cause court last night, just a few hours separated from being on the other side of the law. The 21 year old Harris County detention officer was arrested just before his shift at the Harris County Jail on Thursday for his role, Houston police say, in the capital murder of Otis Keith Parker in May. The defendant and his three co defendants ambushed the complainant. According to court records, the murder was the result of a setup involving Wheeler, Jamal Brown, Quintiana Taylor, and Mariah Green to rob Parker of at least $1,500 in cash. It happened on Selinski in Southeast Houston. Parker was behind the wheel of the black Hyundai when he was shot to death after driving Taylor and another woman home from Baton Rouge with the cash the women made from dancing record state. There was planning and a flurry of text messages, some from Wheeler while he was on the job at the jail. Records say he texted one of the accomplices asking, quote, mm. if he got a tool, also texting, quote, because mm. I'm taking everything from everybody. Records say he left his shift at the jail early to be at the apartment complex for the alleged ambush. Brown was the trigger man. The two women fled after the shooting. In response to the arrest, the Harris County Sheriff's Office told ABC 13 they are aware of the arrest of Jarrell Tavon Wheeler, who has been relieved of duty. Wheeler was hired as a detention officer on December 6, 2021, and they are in full cooperation with the ongoing investigation. The defendant and All four suspects have been charged with capital murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Bond for Wheeler is a total of $350,000. The remaining three have warrants out for their arrests. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. That's a news article. I don't understand it. I don't understand this at all. This guy right here, Gerald Willer, Jarrell Willer, is stupid. You got a job as a correctional officer. I mean, you the police and you out there doing dumb stuff. The stuff people get jailed where you got to watch over them until trial and stuff. You out there doing the same thing. And this right here goes along with what I said in other videos where people are lowering police standards of what it takes to be an officer. This guy right here should have never been no cop. He shouldn't. He's sitting up here doing devilishment and leaving his job to do thug shit and then going back and being an officer of the law. It makes no sense at all. I mean, how dumb can you be? You left your job to kill a pimp off the guys, what some chick said, set up, and you like a stunt man, go out there and do it. 
I mean, in life, would you get what you get? But I mean, this right here, is, this is beyond me. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Another thing is this. You had a pension if you stayed there long enough. $1,500. Was it really worth it? Seriously, bro, was it really worth it? He texted the girl, do we got a gun? Because I'm coming and taking everything. What, what goes through people's minds? You're in the jail, probably 12, I think they were 12 hour shifts down there. 12 hours a day, you in the jail. You leave the jail to go do something that'll put you in jail. I'm being honest with you. This guy should not get no lean, leniency at all. In fact, whatever the sentence is, he should get the max. And I'm going to tell you why he should get the max. Because he's on both sides of the fence. He sees what criminals do to get in there where he's at, where he has to watch over them. And he still did dumb stuff. It's a difference between making an innocent mistake and willful error. And in his case, th this is stupid. You right where you wanted to be. Honestly, ways and actions tell a lot. Why even be a cop if you have criminal intent? I mean, I don't. They paid him good money, I guess, starting off because he said he, from October of 2000, what, 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 a year and a half, two years? He was a cop. So, I mean, I mean, he's making money. I can never understand this. I mean, did, what did you take the job for? Did you take the job to make a difference or, or, or what was that even about? And then you got three other idiots that set the thing up. And I don't know if they were caught before him and told on him because remember, this happened in May. So somebody had to say something for him to get caught last. It might have been set up like that. They might have been knew that he did it. Right when he was about to start work, uh, no, nah, you won't be going in there. You'll be going over there across the street. I don't understand this. This is some stupid stuff. Harris County Jail has been under scrutiny for some time. People die in there on the regular. I was down the street. I, I was over there the other day near Harris County Jail, and they always got somebody doing some type of protest out there. They had some Spanish people out there last week. I forgot what signs they were holding, but it's always news cameras down there. It's always a story in there of something going wrong or some, some kind of silliness or people protesting injustice of people that are locked up in there, and this guy goes and runs right in there. Think about it. Could you imagine what kind of guard he was when he was in there? With the kind of mindset he has. I mean. There are good cops out there. I don't know any that's down there in that jail. But I mean. There are people that take that job serious. And this stuff like right here is a smack in the face. And it makes all, all of them look bad. You know now I mean as far as a prison guard or anything like that. People are going to feel the way they feel about you. But I mean, this right here is not helping the situation at all for those that are really trying to make a difference down there. I mean, a hundred, I mean, fifteen hundred dollars. He make more than that a week on a paycheck and he risked everything for that. And I don't even think it was about the money. I think it was about his street credibility. There are people out here, guys, and I'll tell you. That are beyond repair. There are also people that, you know, revel in doing dumb stuff, being sneaky, conniving, stalking people, just doing dirt. There are a lot of people out here that revel in that. And I think he's one of them. You want respect for nothing. A bunch of respect. Them people right there probably told on you. They had to tell on you. I'm going to try to find out and see how long these people was locked up before they came and got him. I think he's the last one that got locked up. Somebody told. And I'm going to tell you something. When you're in jail, 
and you're sitting in there and you don't know whether you're getting out or not, and they charge you with something, and you know you ain't the only one that did it. A lot of times, these guys, I've seen it a million times when I was locked up. They'd be going through their head. They're ready to get out. they wondering what the outside is doing. You know, when you're locked up, you're always worrying about the outside world. they trying to play the phones. they looking out the window. They want to be out there. They use you for an escape to get less time or no time. I, I've never seen this. Like, I mean, you, you left your job in the mid, like early morning, in the dark, on purpose to go rob somebody. And you kill them. The world will never know. Guys, leave me a comment. This is the crazy. This is strange. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Man, this is one of the dumbest cops I've seen in the past month. For real. I mean, I'll see you in the next video.